the one where the Emmy honors Matthew Perry. Nearly three months after Matthew Perry died from the acute effects of ketamine, the 2023 Emmy Awards remembered him with a touching tribute on January 15th. During the memoriam segment at the Emmy Awards, Charlie Puth and the musical duo The War and Treaty played the Friends theme song, I'll Be There For You, along with a photo montage of Matthew and other fallen stars. However, his Friends cast members Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, and David Schwimmer were not involved in the special segment. Gianni Rosenclay told The Hollywood Reporter on January 16th that it's, quote, still very fresh for them and fellow executive producer Jesse Collins noted that the team had discussed bringing the Friends cast together early on in the Emmys planning process. However, she says, but I can imagine from their side they're mourning someone who was still very close to them. I can't speak for them, but we all have to respect that they were their own family. It was probably just a little too soon. Collins also added that the Emmys wanted the segment to recognize all fallen stars more equally, adding, yes, Norman Lear and Matthew Perry you have to give some special attention to, but you don't want anyone to feel slighted. Everybody's contribution was significant, and this is their moment inside this package. Despite that, Matthew Perry's castmates have proved they're still there for him. Following his shocking death October 28th, each member paid tribute to Perry in touching social media posts. Courtney Cox shared this Instagram on November 14th, writing, I am so grateful for every moment I had with you, Maddie, and I miss you every day. When you work with someone as closely as I did with Matthew, there are thousands of moments I wish I could share. Jennifer Aniston posted this November 15th tribute saying, This one has cut deep. Having to say goodbye to our Maddie has been an insane wave of emotions that I've never experienced before. For Maddie, he knew he loved to make people laugh. As the actor detailed his decades-long battle with addiction in his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, he explained his bigger goal was to help others overcome their own struggles, sharing in a November 2022 interview with Q with Tom Power. I would like to be remembered as somebody who uh, lived well, loved well, um, was a seeker, um, and his paramount thing is that he wants to help people. That's, that's what I want.